guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an easy Elmo cake. I've had so many requests to make this little guy, so here he is, and you can make this one in about an hour. I'm Elisa Strauss, and we're mixing it up in the kitchen today. life easy whenever you're making a sculpted cake, it's best to start with a template. So for this cake, I just printed out a picture of Elmo and I took a piece of parchment paper and retraced the mouth and I made the template as wide as I have cake. I also cut a board. It could just be a piece of cardboard or this is foam core. Again, just in the general shape of Elmo. Here I have two nine inch rounds that I've cut the top off one of them and I left the dome on the second one to help create the Elmo shaped head. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of my yummy chocolate buttercream. Since this is a super easy cake, I'm not going to worry about filling any pastry bags. I'm just going to throw in some buttercream and spread it all around. All right, so to carve Elmo, it's just a rounder kind of football-y shape. Again, you can refer back to your template, but you also have the base of your cake that you've already cut, so that's going to help create the shape. So I just start by cutting the top off, and I'm basically following around the shape of that base. Now we're going to carve away a little bit of the cake to make some room for those big eyeballs that are so signature to Elmo. And we're going to take that template that we have for the mouth and lay it right on the cake and carve away so to make the mouth look really real. So first I'll just take my small serrated knife and carve away. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be giving a little dimension to Elmo's face. Anytime you make a character, if you don't get the eyes and the nose right, that toddler's going to know. And remember, whenever you're carving, you wanna carve a little deeper than what you actually need, because when we go ahead and cover it with buttercream and the rolled fondant, it loses some of its shape. All right, and for the mouth, I'm going to grab this template. And it's actually good if you make two of these templates because then you can use one on the cake part, and then again, we're going to use it to cut out the fondant. So I put the template right on top, and then I just make an outline, and then I'm going to cut it away. Again, going deeper than what you would normally think. All right, so my Elmo shape is all carved out and it's ready to get a layer of buttercream and then the fun fur texture. Next, I'm going to coat Elmo's head in yummy buttercream. So you wanna coat the entire cake all the way down to the board. And don't forget to coat inside the mouth and the eyes as well. Next, I'm going to roll out some black fondant and red fondant for the mouth and for Elmo's head. I'll grab my template from my Elmo's mouth and I'll place it right in the middle. And like always with the template, I'm going to go a little bit larger. And I figure while I have the black rolled out, I'll just take an 809 tip and cut out two circles that I'm going to use later for Elmo's eyeballs. Okay, so I'll grab my cake and I'll put the mouth right on over. And I'm going to lay it right into that area. So I like to soften the edges. All right, and I'm going to grab our red fondant. So in the olden days, when I would make monsters, dogs, any kind of fur, I used to make it all by hand with the back of my little scalpel here. But luckily, Marvelous Molds helped me make these fur molds um, and so it's great because I can just emboss the texture right into the fondant. And what's nice about the silicone is that you can just go back in if you didn't press too firmly in some areas, you could just fill it in. All right, so I grab my fondant, pick it up, and I just lay it 
back right over. And yes, I know I'm covering the black part. Don't worry, I haven't lost it yet. If anyone has trouble with fondant, I actually have a free fondant tutorial on crafty.com. So definitely check that out and that will help you figure out how to cover round cakes and square cakes. Okay, so I take my template that I had from just before and you can almost feel where it's a little hollow. I'm going to place it right over. And so at first I'm just going to trace the template. I just want to cut down to make an impression. Then I can remove my template and I can further investigate what's going on here. So I can start to lift off the red a little bit. And if you want to press a little harder, and then the big reveal is the black that's sitting inside. Now remember, you could put the black on top, but it's really not going to have that same look as the mouth sitting inside the fur. This is a good technique to do anytime you need something inset inside. So now I'm just using my finger to smooth it over. And remember, Elmo's mouth can even go all the way up here. So if you want to extend it a little bit, feel free. And if you want to add a little bit, like here I may want a little bit of a furry lip. That's something that you normally wouldn't want. But what I could do is go back with my mat and press a little bit, and then it already has the fur and I could place it just over there. And then use the back of my scalpel, back of a veining knife, veining tool, to create the fur again. I may add a little bit of fur up here as well. All right, and then I just use the back of my scalpel, again, to extend the mouth, and then I create kind of like these half moon shapes to finish off Elmo's grin. The last thing to make our signature Elmo are the eyes and the nose. What I did is I took three ounces of white gum paste. So in order to make a perfect ball, which is what we want, and this is good for any cake you do, you wanna gather all of the little seams to the bottom, just like that. So you take away that part and then you can roll it in your hands. And for the nose, I also used about three ounces of pre-dyed orange fondant, almost like an eggplant shape, right? The long to the fat. Since the eyes are a little on the heavy side, especially till they dry, what I like to do is use some toothpicks to hold them into the cake. I'm gonna go ahead, put a toothpick in the bottom of my eye, and then I'll just grab some royal icing and place it. And I'll place the nose with, again, some royal icing. Sometimes I even cut away a little bit on the bottom. And then I'll grab my black little irises that I cut out before and just place them in the front towards the nose. And there we have our little Elmo cake. I hope you enjoyed making Elmo with me today. I think you'll agree it was super easy. Remember, all the equipment and ingredients are listed below. And don't forget to let me know what you wanna learn and I'll try to make it happen. Subscribe so you don't miss any episode. I'm Elisa Strauss and we're mixing it up in my kitchen today.